Yeah, I found him. I just don't know who he is. Welcome. I'm Hawaiian Shirt Pop. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi, and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time it's worth a second look. It's located in Kitchener, near the GO train station. Gamecraft, yes, that looked very good on that side, but the other side was delaminating, making it really hard to play Crokinole on this side. Uh, price was in... Uh, indicative of the damage they do have an interesting collection of art not just these they have a lot of others and then where you get into the hard goods and the books um, it's a fairly large collection of books it's near the uh, near the street side uh, the entrance to this place is not at the street if you're driving, there is parking by the door, but you have to take one of two laneways, one of three laneways to get access to it. You may not find it immediately, but um, if you walk and get to the door and then you'll see, oh, there's a laneway over there. So it's a bit different. Usually it's very, very good to visit here. They've got set up for bicycles as well, if you happen to be cycling. Lots of hard goods. And in the past, they had more in the way of clothing, if I remember right. They certainly had some fabrics in the past. I don't remember seeing them on this trip anymore. COVID has changed a bunch of different things. These are their glass case areas. It's right at the cache. Uh, the corners of the cache, they've got these taller columns of glass cabinets. Uh, these, these are, oh, they do have some fabrics, but not nearly the same way they did before. These are just fabrics, vintage fabrics. They have pillows. Lots of sets of china and ceramics for sure. They also had these uh, costume jewelry. These are also at the the um, cash desk area. And there's the picture of that gentleman who, I really don't know, I tried to, the, the name did not strike as me with any familiarity. I'm not from Kitchener, so I wouldn't know. Sometimes there, there's somebody important from Kitchener or region. Uh, I don't know those people. Uh, yes, they have the average stuff. They have the small appliances. They have some games and puzzles. These are very commonly found. There's that Crokino board I was mentioning earlier. LPs, CDs, uh, cassettes, I think, even. whole collection of all kinds of things here even uh, one of those uh, uh, DJ kind of things I think it's for a game some sporting goods there and we're in oh there were some clothes I know what it was I didn't find any Hawaiian shirts so I don't make huge comment about it because what I was looking for wasn't there but they had some more in the way shoes from the looks of it. Some interesting machines. Look like a sausage stuffer. Besides the usual suspects in the small appliances. 
look through some of the purses, nothing of note and nothing with uh, without having some condition issues if they did or a little bit better. Some silver plate that they've made a nice display opposite the cash desk just to help move some of these things along. Lots of frames of all sorts of sizes, some with artwork, some without. It's along the wall by the uh, entry. And the children's area has children's books, some toys. And they had roll f fabric and vinyl you could buy by the meter. Again, this, cause, oh yes, there's LPs and you can see a bit better as to what kind of things. There was some cassettes for sure. I circled around the store a couple of times trying to avoid f other folks. This is the whole s section with the with the furniture and more artwork as you can see. This is right by the door. And then they have this glass cabinet with some really interesting pieces in there. Um, I'm not, I don't know about that topic enough to say whether it was a good deal or not. But it was, it was interesting to see them displayed in that manner. As I said, lots and lots of artwork. There's, there's some fabric over in the corner too. Or the carpets. Um, so the the artwork and frames are pretty well on three out of the four walls of the of the shop. They're nice looking pieces they have. The mirrors were actually a pretty good deal. So hopefully you've enjoyed this one. And you'll consider giving us a, a subscription, a thumbs up, and maybe even a, a tinkle on the bell so that you get notified of the, the next video that gets posted on, on this channel. Thanks a lot, folks. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.